you know where you are? This is Nollywood Pictures to you. Hi, hi, Kim. What a surprise. To what do I owe this honor? Um, uh, I know you must be pretty pissed at my not calling you all this while. But uh, when we see, uh, you understand better. Anyway, how, how, how are you doing? I'm very fine, thank you. So, so. Um, okay, there is something I, I'd like to tell you. Um, it, it, you know, I, I really shouldn't be saying this over the phone, but I, I may not be able to come over there, so I, I thought I... I know, Donald. Olive Udense, daughter of the oil baron, now wishes to be known and addressed as Mrs. Olive Donald Eze. Please accept my congratulations. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, 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 I know I hurt you bad. But... Oh God, God. But I, I, I believe when, when, when we see, uh, you understand what I'm, I'm trying to say. If we see it or not. But you know, no sweat at all. I, I understand. I couldn't hold a candle to Olive. Not by looks, not by wealth. So, I understand why you chose her over me. I mean, what do I have to offer you? Nothing. So, I understand. Baby, 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 please, please, don't, 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 don't say that. It's not... Donald, trust me when I say I understand. It's not a problem. I wish you a happy married life. But you need to do me one little favor. What? Don't ever call me again. I feel like a beast. I feel... I... I... I, I, I feel terrible. I, I, I am so sorry, Kim. I am sorry. Please, don't, don't hate me. I don't hate you. Do not. I couldn't even if I tried. But I mean it when I say don't call me again. Good night. You don't want the dinner your wife cooks to get cold. This is now your office. Everything you need is here. Yes, sir. This is a big responsibility considering how fresh you are. But I trust my instinct. Considering the concrete agreement I had with your father before he died, I believe you can run this place properly. Thank you very Congrats. much. Congrats. Thank you very much, sir. So I'd like to thank you for the trust and confidence you have in me, for the help you've rendered to my family. I'd like to say, sir, I will try everything I can not to disappoint you. That's fine. Thank you. Yes, sir. Donald, your family is now my family. Yes, sir. Everything I have belongs to you. Hmm? Thank you, sir. I will now leave you to settle in. Yes, sir. There will be a formal introduction to this house later. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Au revoir. Right. So, babe. Yeah. How was your day? It was good, it was good. And yours? Oh, it's good. It's just that I had this marathon meeting with my boss, which lasted the whole day, but 
I'm glad I'm home now so you can make me feel better. Mm? Come on, baby. Mm? Hey. You'll be reading in bed. Yeah, listen, I there's so much I need to catch up on in the office. So much work to do there. I, I mean, I, I really have to study these things if I need to catch up faster. We've been saying that for months now, Donald. Huh? I'm your wife. You need to fulfill your marital duties to me. I know, but I must study these files. I must. Not tonight you won't. Come on. Hey, 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 hey. Stop, stop, stop. Stop, just stop. Please. Tomorrow, okay? Tomorrow. Oh, just... Damn, tomorrow, Donald! I'm getting tired of all this! I didn't want this marriage any more than you did! I, too, am obeying my father's wishes just as you're obeying yours! Now listen, Donald! We're here now! We stood in front of a priest and we exchanged vows! And we are damn well going to live by those vows, whether you like it or not! <sighs> this is the last time we're going to have this conversation! Is that clear? You go now! Oh. Hey, my bro, here. Do not in your office. Oh. Come, when did you start drinking like this? Well. Since things started turning out for the worst in my life, I'll probably start taking ganja. I mean, Igbo. And I won't mind taking it anywhere, any place, any time. I understand how you feel, my friend. But let's just look on the bright side. Just at 28 years of age, you're an MD of a multi-million naira conglomerate. Oh, come on, boy, you are rich. Very rich. You also have a very beautiful wife whose looks can turn any man's head anytime, any day. You could have been worse, though. You could have been a whole lot worse. You know, <coughs> I've never really been into women. Yeah, that I know. Right. The only girl I had in school, I dated for a year. Probably less. Then it came, came to my life and then... Just forget about her. How can I forget her? I love her. My spirit loves her. We're connected with each other. How can I forget? But you didn't marry her. Did you? You did not marry her. You married Olive. You know what that shows? What, sir? My friend, it shows that money is the name of the game. Right. See, I was trying to make you understand this while we were serving, but you wouldn't. Listen. <coughs> Money is the name of the game. Uh-huh. Chidi, look at me. Just take a good look at me. This isn't what I planned for my life. What's the time? Almost 10, 9.30. Shouldn't I be home? My plan was to finish from work and go, to, go home to my family. Enjoy everything. It's not working. It's not working. I didn't plan this for my life, man. I never thought in my wildest dream I'll be drinking. Oh, come on, stop mourning. Yeah. Stop mourning. I mean, it's not as if they, they put a dog leash in your neck and drag you to the altar. Come on, you walked there yourself. Donald, you are sitting in an office a man spent his whole lifetime building. <laughs> you are living in his house. Come on, the least you can do is love his daughter. Right. Didn't I tell you that the house comes with the child? Oh, whatever. How <laughs> crazy. Well, Donald, it's late. I mean, very late. Let's go home. Yeah, home. Oh, this place is getting really comfortable. I'm becoming more like home to me. What is the hurry now? Oh, you have one of those your usual companions? I could come with you guys, you know, you know, just hang out, go to a club or something. Seems to be more like fun to be right now. <laughs> you are amazing me. Right. Funny thing is, I also amaze myself. 
What kind of life is this, people? What kind of life is this? Okay, Muchi! Okay, Mu! What is it? Okay, my life is finished, though. Ah, the devil is the lion, Kem. What is it? What the hospital has been sold. Sold? Yes, yeah, so without prior information, no. Hey! Chimo! Eh, uh, what is the big deal? It's probably to a better management now. Ah. Which better management in Kem, Muchi? Eh? The man who bought it is turning it into a school. It says it's more profitable. Can you imagine that? And I've worked in that hospital, and this is all I get. Yeah? You remember that time now? I would have entered uh, civil service. So. But I said no. Yeah? I couldn't stand their bureaucracy. Now this is all I get. No gratuity. No pension. Mommy. Help! And the stupid man just stood there and said he was sorry. Sorry for what now? Eh? No. Tell me how am I going to... Pay your school fees when you get into the university. Mommy, yeah. please, please. Uh, come oh. on. Have we not oh. weathered stronger storms? Oh, eh? We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Give me your bag. Oh. It's okay. Okay, we'll be fine. Eh? What kind of life is this? From one trouble to the other. From one trouble to the other. Eh? See it now. If that donut had married you, I wouldn't um. I wouldn't be worrying so much about you. Please, leave the oh. out of this. It wasn't meant to be. Besides, I'm a big girl and I can take care of myself. And you. <laughs> you see it? Well, my daughter, my little daughter, we have to grow up so fast. Oh, God. I beg you. Mommy, please go to some parts of the world and see where 16-year-olds have two or more children. That is growing up. God forbid. That is not my portion. Oh, my life is in shambles. Oh. Mommy, Look, you lost your husband and son. That did not crumble you. <laughs> Is it a mere loss of a job that would not do it? Hey, eh, mommy, come, to let's go. School. I will go, go to me. school. We would manage. Oh. We Relax. Ah. Mommy, please don't start. Don't start crying for me. No. No, 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 nothing. No way. What more do you want from me, mom? Kill me that you'll be satisfied. You told me to marry Olive, so the family business can be saved. That I have done. The two companies have merged and they're waxing strong. What more do you want from me? Nandi, Olive is not happy, and her mother has complained to me several times about your cold attitudes towards her. I'm sure this is not unconnected with that girl you told me about. Nadi, I think you're taking this thing a little bit too far. Why don't you just try it? No, mom! You and the other people will have to try to mind their own business. Leave Olive and I alone. Please! It's high time you people stopped interfering. I have just about had enough of your meddling. What is it? What is it? Leave us alone. Please, just leave us alone. Nabi, don't you dare. Come back here. Nabi, come back here. Nabi, I said, come back here. Don't you dare walk out on me. That's what you said to you did to your father. Come back here. Uh, mommy, hmm? I think we should open a little shop. Room. Maybe a kiosk in front of the house. Hmm? At least to assist us with feeding money. Hmm. It's true now, we can't continue to live on your little salary. There is food already fast running out. I've got another job. I'm sure Trinity Hospital will call me very soon. I'm sure they will call you, mommy, but in the meantime, let's just open something small. Hmm? Well, that's one. Um, two. I want to go to Lagos and stay with Auntie Francisca for a while. Mom, it's just to get a job. Eh? There are bigger opportunities out there in Lagos. Let me go and try. Don't worry, I'll enroll for part-time studies while I'm there, but, you know, there are bigger opportunities out there. 
Look, I don't want to leave you, mommy, but we have to do this. Okay? Mm -hmm. You seem to have thought it all out. Uh. Oh. See what life has put my little daughter through. Ha! See it. Huh? Why? Why are all these things happening to me now? Why? Mm. Why? Mommy, please. Remember, you taught me to be strong. Try to lead by example. Don't break down now. <sighs> Don't worry yourself, Mommy. This will pass. See, one day we'll all sit here laughing. You know, that's how we could even afford ice fish for this food. It, it will pass. Oh. Hey. Huh? What is it? Can't believe this. Huh? That I, Mrs. Josephine Olomese, will find myself in this kind of situation. Me, petty trader, a whole metron. Oh, Chimo, mommy, don't say that. Don't say that. Huh? Oh. Okay, what do you want to do? Would you rather steal? Or do you want me to become a prostitute? Huh? <laughs> this is why we must do what we must do. Yeah. Mommy, look, I understand how you feel. But let's do this, at least to put food on our table. Hmm? Besides, despite not the days of little beginning, you don't know where this kiosk will be tomorrow. Could be some huge supermarket. Mm. All these rich men you are seeing of today. I mean, they started from somewhere. Okay. Yeah. I thank God for you, my daughter. Thank you. Eh? If only your father was still alive. Well, he oh, is God not. Is Mommy, he is not here. So we have to find strength in ourselves. Okay? Oh. Is it not the same God that created that you that created you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what are you saying? Ah. Look, don't worry. We'll make enough money. Mm -hmm. And, you know, someday we'll be able to open a 
What, a clinic? You never know. Mm. Okay? Mm. Come, let's go. Let's bring me. Bring me back, let me carry it. How? Chimo! Mama, come on now. We prayed all through the night. That's all we did. Just this one uh, shot last night. No, prayer. honestly, it's enough. Eh? Okay, let me go. Let me go. Eh, I'll call you. I know, I'll call you. Take care of yourself, okay. eh? Right. Call me all. I will. And oh. Ngozi will bring the girl today. Okay, I've already told her. Okay, okay. Safe job. Bye-bye. Right. Uh, okay, Mama. Great fucker for me. I will. Everybody. Take care of yourself. I will. And stop worrying. Oh, that is if you will keep calling me. I'll call you now. Eh. Bye bye. I was just thinking of organizing a search party for you. Abi, until you sure so no retire, so for what? Things are hard. Ah uh ah, -uh. there is no way I've not been to today. Offices, hospitals, schools, you name it, nothing. She she. Well, I finally got this place where the MD asked me to sit and wait for him. I sat down there, waited, 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 waited. Do oh, closed office with him, only for him to ask me what. To follow him to a hotel room. <laughs> no, auntie, it did not click at first, but when it oh did, the abuse I abused him, he will never forget me in his life. Okay. You will not kill me. Oh, that is the way of Lagos for you. There are so many random men littered all over the place. But my dear, never to worry. Something will come up, and soon too. Hmm? But this is very disappointing. Ah, I thought Lagos is supposed to be, you know, the land of flowing milk and honey and things like that. Indeed! It's not so, my dear. This place is hard, though. But God always has a way for his children. Hmm? Remember the adage that says, nothing good comes easy. It's not going to be easy, but I believe God. Okay? Now, let's go inside so that you take your dinner. Dig it. Dinner. I don't have any appetite. That man took it with him, honestly. If you see his stomach, like this. Let's not mention body odor. Hi. Hi. Come you will not. don't suffer. No business. Ah, my dear. That is what we see sometimes now. Hi. Come on. You won't kill me. You're still going on with this, your application thing. What can I do now? Mm -hmm. Okay. This is not only about writing an application. I want you to pray. When I mean pray, I want you to pray very hard. And I'll do so too. Mm -hmm. I believe God will do something. Thank you, Auntie. Make Thank it snappy so that you get up early in the morning, okay? Yes, Auntie. Alright. Thank you. This is your employment letter. You'll be starting tomorrow being the first. You will be working with me as my personal assistant. And of course you know what that means. You must dress well at all times because of the important places and personalities you'll be meeting. Let me see you. Stand up. I'll give you some money for clothing. Congratulations, Miss Nkemol. I don't believe this. You know, of everybody who came. Thank you so much, ma'am. Congratulations. 
Uh, wait for me in the other office. Okay. Thank you. God is good. Mm -hmm. I said, thank God I didn't go back to the village. And for Miss, what a miracle happened today. What happened? You look so excited. Oh, I have every right to be. Mm -hmm. Come, come, sit down. Now, do you remember that interview I went for three days ago? Yes. Mm -hmm. Immediately you went to the office today. They called me to come to the office. My appointment letter. It's a lie. Just like that. Just like that, Swati. Out of everybody that came that day, they chose me. <laughs> So, you're now looking at the new personal assistant to the MD. Mm. And because of my position, guess what? They gave me 30,000 naira to go shopping. This is it. I didn't waste time. 30,000 naira. Seriously? Just like that. Just like that. You can. Yes, Nancy. Are you sure this is not 419? Because there are so many frauds that littered all over like this. And see, this is not 419. If you see the amount of people that came for the interview, ah, let's not even mention the woman. One pretty rich looking woman like this. All the same. I will not like this your happiness to be short lived. Make sure this thing is real. And think it exists. It's not for one night. Ah, give me, you should be happy for me. Oh, be happy for me now. Okay, I am happy. I've suffered, I've suffered. It's okay. About the things you bought, let me have a glass. I am happy now. <laughs> you know, you have this stuff. Oh my god. And then this things are expensive in this place, Santi. I can't take it. Huh? Yes, okay. Yeah. Where is the file on the Clarence project? Uh, it's still on my desk, ma. I have a few papers to insert. And the document I asked you to type? No, I put that one in your drawer. Ma, I booked an appointment with Felicity Bank for 3 p.m. And then we have a staff meeting here for 6 p.m. Thank you very much, Nkem. You know, I employed you by a hunch. Of all the people that came for the interview, you were... Never mind. You're almost invaluable. I don't have any regrets. Thank you very much. Thank you, ma. You're welcome. You can go back to your office. Mom, I'm finding it very hard to believe. How can you get a lady who is not a graduate as a PA? I mean, we're trying so hard to make sure that we get competent in this, in this industry, this business. You do not need some incompetent staff to spoil it. And who says she's incompetent? Listen, Namdi, this girl might just be an ordinary secondary school holder. But trust me, she is smart. And I know she'll deliver. What makes you so sure? Instincts. Huh. And my instincts never fail me. Right. Nandi, business isn't actually why I wanted us to have this dinner together. Mom, please don't tell me it's about Olive again. Yes. The situation between both of you calls for a third party. Nandi, I am your mother and I need Mom, to... Mom, please. For the last time, I'm going to ask you to stop interfering in this. Need I remind you that this is my marriage? And yes, Olive is my wife. We do have problems like every other marriage. But... We will try our best to sort them out. We do not need any form of interference from you or her mother or anybody for that matter. <sighs> Mommy, please. You, I'm trying very hard not to get upset. I am man enough to handle my marriage. Thank you very much. I was only trying to help. Next time, Mom. Why don't you just wait till you are asked to help? Do I eat or you just out to spoil my appetite because I could go home, you know? Go ahead. God.
back. How's the day? Why are you looking at me like that, eh? Is there anything wrong with a woman trying to seduce her husband? No. Hmm? But you should have informed me first. Don't you have surprises, huh? I, I, I had dinner with my mom. Oh, I see. Look, I, 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 I'm sorry. Yeah, I, if you told me earlier, I probably wouldn't. It doesn't it's... matter. We, we can always skip dinner. You know what? Let's just have some wine, okay? No, I'm, I'm tired, really. Um, I need to. Come on, let's have it in bed, okay? Sorry, I am. Uh... Donald, are you seeing another woman? No, no, I'm not. Why? No, I'm not. I'm, I apologize. Forget I said that, okay? Please. I'm trying so hard. I know. I know you're trying so hard. Okay, Ian. Please, I'm sorry. It just, just came out. Um. I promise I'll make it up to you. Is I am going to be a changed man. I promise you. Is that a promise you're going to keep? On my honor. It's a promise I am keeping. in bed for her royal majesty. What have we got here? Good morning. Hi, good morning. Look, wait, wait. Uh, uh, I have got here. Well, let's see. Oops. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. 
Doesn't life just taste so good? <laughs> You'll be late for work. <laughs> Forgotten I am the MD? Mm -hmm. So, do you like my pancake? Mm -hmm. Very nice. Really? Mm hmm. Really delicious. I actually thought I insulted it all. Come on, just did it. Poison you, come on. Forgot that I'm a real cook. Come on, taste the steak, baby. Mm. It's really yeah, nice. Let me make you tea, right? I kind of mixed everything up, so. If you want more, baby, there's still more from where that came. So, uh, have you seen Donald yet? Donald, okay. how? When? Am I here to look for him? I beg. <laughs> wow. Don't tell me you have gotten over him so soon. Huh? Okay, who is the new guy now? <laughs> new guy, okay. My dear, all the men in this town want is to get between your legs. And girl, my legs are so crossed. What a boring life. I, I wish I was the one there, you know, frolicking and showing the men my good new tricks, you know. Surely, because there must be something else we can talk about aside from men. Like what? Sex? Look, I'll drop this phone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, sorry. So, um, how's your new job? Not bad. My madam is one taskmaster. But anyway, she's okay. She's a nice person. And you? What's going on? Hmm. Me? Um, you remember that, that my friend, Mohammed? Aside from men, I'm guessing. <sighs> Jesus. Look, my credit is about to run out. I'll call you again, alright? You take care. Bye. Yes? Surprise! Honey, what are you doing here? I'm looking for my wife. I'm wondering, have you seen her somewhere? She is tall, beautiful, has sexy eyes. Her names are Olive, Uzuamaka, Eze. She looks just like you. I was going to ask her if she would come to lunch with me. Any problem with that? I'm scared, Donald. You're scared of what? The way you've changed. You don't like it? No, no. I love it. I love it. It's just that I'm worried. It's, it's a little too good to be true. <laughs> ah, we men cannot cease to amaze me. When things go wrong, they worry. When things go well, they worry. When things don't even change at all, 
a worry still. God, God, deliver me from this daughter of Eve. What do I do to please her? God. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We are married. And when we looked into the eyes of that priest and took our vows, we promised to be together forever. I intend to keep that. Promise? I already have. So we're going to again? Uh, let's go have some drink. What? Oh, come on, it's past six. Or uh, have we not been doing it for some time now? You seem to be forgetting something, my bro. What's that? I'm married. Huh? I gotta go home to my wife. Huh? So when did that one start? Started the day I decided to stop being silly, put my acts together, and put a little more effort into my marriage. Hmm? See, Olive is actually a very sweet girl. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sweeter than your village girl? Nkem is not a village girl. And nobody can be sweeter than her. But the saying goes, if you can't be with the one you love, you love the one you're with. Oh, what a discovery. Anyway, we can go have some drink for like 30 minutes, you know. You can still go back to your house and still be the good guy to your wife. No, no, no. I gotta go home to my wife. I promised her I'll be home early. Now you marry fast. Now me. 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 Sit down. I've decided that you'll be the one to sort this collateral issue out. Me? Ma? Shh. If I didn't think you could do it, trust me, I wouldn't send you. You probably know more about this than I do. The files are on your table, I believe. Yes. Very well then. My driver will take you. Relax. My son is such a nice guy. Hmm? Yes, ma'am. Tell the driver to take you there. Yes, ma'am. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I'm here to see Mr. Heze, please. Do you have an appointment with him? Uh, yes, I'm from Evergreen Holdings. Okay, just hold on. Hello, sir. Somebody is there to see you, sir. Yes, okay. Okay, just go straight. The second door by your right. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Good 
last one, sir. Yeah, good afternoon. Hunt you. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just kidding. Um, I'm as surprised as you are. Nice place, really nice. No wonder you forgot me so easily. No, it's not like that. I can explain. Uh, why do they always want to explain? Look, there's nothing to explain, all right? You know, when I first met your mother, I knew there was something familiar about her. Uh, I didn't think you guys were related. I mean, you don't look alike, even though you share the same surname, but that's that. Uh, can I sit down? I have to be back in the office within the hour. Well, close your mouth before you swallow a fly. Very sorry. Please, can we can we discuss over lunch? I've had lunch, thank you. And besides, I don't have time. We need to look at the. Okay, please. Please, you need to take a look at this file. Um, now, I think we should um, give Mr. Okong the loan. He has a very very good business plan, and um, in a few months. Okay, but you, you do expect me to concentrate on whatever it is you're saying right now. Please, just lunch. We, we, we could discuss Mr. Okun, but please, let's, let's, I can't concentrate right now. Then maybe I should leave and come back at a time when you can concentrate. What will you tell my mom? Why do you think she employed me? I always have everything figured out. And please call me on our office phone when you have regained composure. And soon you'll be back in Lagos and... I don't know. I'm scared. You're my reason for living, and you hold my world in your hands. And I'll love you forever. Is that a promise? We're married. We promise to be together forever. I intend to keep that. I thought I'd put everything behind me. She just walks in and I become what? A bundle of nerves. Psst, really? So what are you going to do now? Ask uh, her to stop working for your mother? Oh, I know. To say I'm confused is an understatement. I am shattered. Do you think I was beginning to make things work between Olive and I and she shows up and every feeling within me begins to run riots? In that case, you have to get an anti-riot squad to stem the riot. I know. As you get yourself in a whole lot of big mm. shit. I know. And you know what? She knows it too. She does? Of course! Even though she's trying to act as cool as cucumber. But given the same situation, and we're in the same town, same close proximity, I swear to God, there'll be so much energy between us, we cannot even stop it. Let me ask you a question. What makes you believe that this girl actually wants you back? Or oh, you think you're kind of God's gift to women? <laughs> no, no, no. I better forget about you see, that. true love, true love never dies. 
anywhere you go, just know it. True love never dies. The moment she stepped into my office, there was this thing you, I couldn't stop. This, this force. It's so strong, you know? My friend, you are confidently trying to forget the fact that you are a married man. See, a word of advice, my friend, to better concentrate more on your job and your family and leave this poor, innocent young girl alone. Now come to think of it, haven't you done enough harm to her? Anyway, I sure do know what to do. What? What else? I just try to locate the girl, you know, try to razzle her and try to make her believe in me, you know, and before you know what is happening, she's mine. <laughs> and I know it's not going to take me a long time. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Try it, man, and I'll kill you. Huh? I swear I'll kill you. <laughs> These lie threats. I'll kill you. You know? Okay. Right. <laughs> Let's check it out then. Russell, huh? <laughs> Let's check it out. I gotta give my usual affair. <laughs> Crazy. wearing his wedding band. He's my boss, son. I've been working for his mother all this while. I didn't know. And he tried to patronize me. He offered me lunch. He once offered me the whole world and now all I guess is lunch. It's okay. Stop crying. Pull yourself together. Hi. I see you're so engrossed in your work. Yes, I am. So what can I do for you, Mr. Eze? Mr. Eze? Interesting. Whatever happened to Donald? Donald. If you're not here for anything work-related, then I'm afraid I'll have to ask you to leave. Please. Okay, and we have to talk. You have to give us an opportunity and a chance to talk. I don't know what we have to talk about, Donald. Quite frankly, I couldn't be bothered either. I mean, it's unfortunate we work together indirectly. But I'll advise you to pretend I do not exist. Because that's exactly what I've done with you. Is that what you really want? Want what? Pretend we do not exist. Because in Kem, that is very important. Donald, Donald, please, please. Look, I have a lot of work and I need to get back to it. Okay? Meaning, I am dismissed. Well, if that's the way you understand it, yes.
And you know what? They keep asking me when I graduated because of my performance. That's how good I am. Don't worry. <laughs> we'll graduate someday. It's one step at a time, okay? So, what's up between you and Donald? Uh, what's the situation report? Are you still avoiding him? Because I've told you there's no situation reports. Look, that chapter is closed and closed for good. It's nothing to discuss. Are you sure? You don't sound convinced to me. I'll drop this phone. Okay, okay. <sighs> what do you want us to talk about? Um, I'm thinking, should I enroll in part-time studies or should I just save up enough money, quit and then go full-time? What do you think? Well, I think I have to come down to Lagos to give you a good treat of your life. Wow, I'm a genius. Why did I not think about this before? <laughs> Nazi, why are you so serious? Why? How more serious can I be when my baby is suffering from a fresh, broken heart? Uh, Inkim, I know you. I know you can talk to me. Nami Ungozio, your pal. Nami, they talk so. I refuse to be drawn into this conversation with you. In fact, I say there's no winning here. So I'll just drop and I'll call you back when you're more serious. Yes. I settled the issue yesterday. I was with Chief Boma yesterday and he said that government bureaucracy is affecting it. But that we shouldn't worry. We are likely to get our mobilization fee this week. All right, I will send her first thing Monday morning. I said I would send her over. Or is there another reason you want to see her? Come on, sweetheart. I thought you said I was making a mistake in employing a non-graduate as my PA. But now it seems you require her services more than I do. I hope so. Okay, dear. not just stupid, it's childish. And I expected more from you. Look, if you don't want me to continue to work for her, why don't you just say so? I would gladly resign rather than have you play these stupid silly games on me. Donald, I've told you. Leave me alone. Alright? I mean, these are three simple words. Why can't you just understand and leave me alone? How Please. can you ask me to leave you alone? After what we shared? Do you expect me to live with myself when I see you act like nothing is happening? All I'm asking for is one hour. An hour to explain things to you. That's all I need. Why have you suddenly developed pants of conscience? If you felt I deserved any explanation, you would have gone out of your way to give them to me. Why now? Why now, now that I'm conveniently in Lagos? Hmm? Donald. You owe me no explanation whatsoever. And I owe you nothing in return. So let's just leave this at this. I can't get over you. I see you in my dreams. And in my waking moments. I see you everywhere I go and in anything I do. I still love you. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Don't be saying that! What's wrong with you? How can you still stand here and talk to me about love? Haven't you deceived me enough? Haven't you? Donald, you don't love me. You, you never loved me. Whatever you felt for me, it wasn't love. Because it was, if it was love, it would have brought you back to me. Love would have prevented you from marrying anybody else. Love would have reminded you what you should have done. It's love. It's not enough. It's not what you think. If only 
me you could just look right into my heart and right now you would have seen that all I had for you I got to not stop it stop it before I smash your head with the first thing I lay my hands on no more no more lies I'm tired I've had enough no more There's no need, okay? Let's just forget this. Just tell me what you want from me. What you want from me? I mean, you're a married man now. Why don't you just go ahead and live your life and let me try and live mine? Why? Do you still love me? No. That's a lie. That's a lie. That's a lie, Mikhail. You love me. You love me with every fight. No, you don't. Leave you me love me. Don't leave me alone. You love me. We've gotten everything out of our system. Can we move on with our lives? Can we mm -hmm. move on with our lives? What do you mean by that? I figured out you wanted sex. Now that you've gotten it, are you satisfied? God. You know, I, I've got to pretend I didn't hear you say that. Just, just stop being flippant, okay? It doesn't suit you. Don't you ever try to trivialize whatever it is we share together. And mm. where is this supposed to lead us to? Hmm? Where? I don't know. Mm. I have no idea. Mm. But this I do know, my dear. I am never going to let you out of my sight. Never. Ever. <laughs> hey. You can me not have a sugar daddy as it is. <laughs> Donald, come on now. Don't you think you'd be too young to be playing sugar daddy? Anyway, Misha, I'm not ready to be anybody's mistress. Not now. Not ever. Hey, listen, not I just now. told you I don't like you being flippant. What was wrong with you? Sha, sha, sha.
I do, I see my cell phone. So, so. <sighs> That's my predicament. And if I may ask, what do you hope to achieve by all this? Honestly, I don't know. If I said I did, I'll be lying. I don't. <laughs> hope you are not under the illusion that this man will leave his wife and marry you. Yeah? Because if you are, my dear, you are in for a big shock. I have told you times with that number to stop following your heart. Use your head. It's only your head at this point in time that will put you on the right track. There's a saying that goes that if you must go back to your vomit, you must make sure it comes with the gold, the silver, and all good things that come to it. What are you talking about? What I mean is, if you must go back to Donald, then you must milk him. If I were you, I'll make sure he gets me a house in maybe London, a good ride, fat bank account, and stuff my, my wardrobe with the latest clothing. <laughs> I will not allow you I'll make him get away with it the second time. Oh. I cannot. But because I've told you, I'm not in this for the money. I love Donald. What stupid love? What kind of stupid love is that? I don't know why we women with him. This is a man that dumped you. Okay, where were you? You're back. You're awake. What are you doing down here? Yes. I'm awake. And as to what I'm doing, waiting up for you, as usual. Look at the time, Donald. It's 2 a.m. Where have you been? I'm sorry, I should have told you earlier. I, I was going to work late. Donald, are you having an affair? What are you talking about? You know what I'm talking about, Donald. The signs are all over you. And I will be damned if I will sit here and watch you make a laughing stock of me in this town. I do not know what you're going oh, on shut about. Up, Donald. You know exactly what I'm going on about. Donald Namde Eze. I will not have you humiliate me in this town. I most certainly will not have it. Look at me, Donald. Pregnant with your child. I'm doing everything I know to make you happy. Yet you you you're going around town with all those girls. In case you don't know, Donald, I am a very determined woman. If I set my sights on something, I definitely get it. God help that bitch if I find her. And don't say I didn't want you. Olive, 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 please, we need to talk. About what? I need you to sit down, please. Please. This marriage is not working. And we both know that. The fact of the matter is, I am in love with someone else. I have always been. That's why this marriage cannot 
work. Says who? <laughs> Donald Namdi Ese, you lie! Look at this one. <laughs> you claim to love another, yet you married me. Honey, I am pregnant with your child. I don't love you. I'm, I'm, I'm in love with another woman. This marriage is going to work, whether you like it or not. Olive, there are certain things in this life you cannot force. Ah. Yes! You cannot drive a horse to the river and force it to drink water. Then watch me make history, baby, because this horse is going to drink this water! Good night! Nadi, Nadi, what do you mean you have moved in here temporarily? Mom, what are you trying to say? Mom, my marriage is nothing but a sham. I have tried everything in the book to make it work. It's not working. I'm not going to kill myself. No. What I'm asking for is just for some time to hang in here till I sort myself out. Nandi, I want to believe that this is a joke. Mom, it's no joke. I'm not laughing. I am dead serious. I want out of this marriage. I want out. It should never have taken place in the first place. Do you realize the implication of what you're doing? Do you know what that your singular act will cost our family? Are you crazy? Because, Mom, I am not crazy. I am not crazy. I know exactly what I am doing. Olive is nice, but we are not meant to be together. We're not. So what happens to the child she's carrying? It's my child, and I'm going to take full responsibility for the child. But we are not going to be together, Mom. We are not compatible. I don't like this, Donald. I don't like this at all. I don't like the look of this. Divorce is a no-no in our family and I certainly will not allow you to do this. I will not let you disgrace our family. No way. So, Mom, you rather I die in misery than get a divorce, huh? Look, Mom. No, you look here, young man. You are going back to your wife. And we are going to pretend that this never happened. That is not going to happen. I am staying with Nkim and I don't care what anybody... Nkim? Which Nkim are you talking? Nandi, don't tell me that you and Nkem are... Yes, Mom. Oh, I can't believe this. I can't believe this. Mom, believe it. Believe it. Contrary to what you're thinking, Mom, I didn't just meet Nkem. I didn't seduce her either. She's the girl I told you I was in love with when I was doing my youth service. The girl I told you I promised to marry. But no! You and Dad had a different plan for me. You forced me to marry a girl I didn't want to marry. Because of your, your God knows what, some reason I do not even care to know. But Mom, Faith brought us together. It was Faith. I don't know how you met her. I don't know how she started working for you. But what I do know, Mom, is that I am going to marry Nkim. And God help me. I will. I'm going to try everything within my power to rectify that situation. Nobody, nobody, not even you, Mom, will stop me. I beg you.
please, mom, please, just let everything lie the way it is. I love Nkem. I have always loved her. She's back to me. I had an unfinished business and I am determined to finish it. Olive and I are history. Just sit there. You can. I'm really very sorry, Kim, for letting you go. Because you were such a good staff. But my dear, it's for the interests of all concerned. I'm going to write you a check of 500,000 Naira, but you must promise me that you will never ever contact my son. Every communication between both of you should cease from this moment. I know you're a very sensible girl, that you're going to heed my advice and leave town immediately. Please, ma'am. No amount of money can replace what I feel for Donald. But I'll leave. I'll go as far away from him as possible. Because it's the right thing to do. I had no idea I had become such a harbinger of pain to you. It was not my intention at all. I should have known better than to let Donald lure me back into his life. But the truth is, I couldn't help it. It's just... I'm sorry, ma, for everything. Whatever pain, whatever embarrassment, if for nothing else, for the love and kindness you have shown me. I'll leave. Thank you for everything, ma. Thank you. You know what's best? Best for whom? Who are you to tell me what's best for me? Donald, let's just lay things to rest. I mean, none of this would have happened in the first place had you been man enough to keep to your words. What are you talking about? I explained to you everything. Yes, 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 and let's not go over this again, please. I've made up my mind and nothing is going to change it. We love each other, yes, Donald, but like you said, love is not enough. We need to do what's right, and what's right for me to do is to leave. Let's just forget about each other, really. Just like that? Yes, just like that. Excuse me. I'm taking my chance as a woman for love that I have for you. I'm painting a paper a picture of life. The journey of life uncertain Journey to get to you I built my world around you My heart will always be with you Hello Hi Do you need a ride? Uh, yes But I'm going to the park Come in, I'll take you Okay Thank you Are you traveling? Yes. Run, 
it's right for you to steal another woman's husband? No, 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 oh, no, that men are finishing this Lagos, that is not my husband that caught your fancy. Thank you, your condition, you need to take it down. Don't tell me anything about my condition. No, you know what again, you're just going, you're, you're just going to have to explain that. It's not like you said, you don't do anything stupid, don't, don't, oh my god, oh my god, don't tell me this time, oh my god, Jesus, Jesus, pick up the gun, pick it up and finish her, do it, no I can't, how can I do it in like this, I can't touch her, stay there, please, help me, I'm not, I'm sure she came here to kill you. Do it now. Do it now. Now. You have to not to yourself. Do it. Do it. Okay, please don't just stand there. Please help me. I bind that spirit in the name of Jesus. Help me. Help me. My God, Lord, for my somebody help. Anybody help me. 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 You? You are my wife? Trouble? Where? 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 Tell, tell. I don't know where, where are we? Where we are? Yes. I don't need you. Okay, alright, come. Anybody else? Okay, wait, wait, wait. I'm going to Doctor, is everything okay? Yeah. How is she? Uh, we did our best. We did our best. What do you mean your best? How is my daughter? She's okay. She's okay. But she had a statement. Still oh, bad. But doctor, is she alright? Yeah, she's alright. Are you sure? Yeah, she's alright. You mean my daughter oh, is still God. alive? I want to show you. In two weeks time, she will be okay. She will be fine. Thank you very much, doctor. Thank you, Doctor. I will see you in the office. Oh, why do not here yet? Is it? Take it easy. Oh, how? You're here already. I, I'm sorry, I should have been here earlier. So, let's go home. We do not have a home together, Donald. What do you mean by that? I'm letting you go. I'm setting you free. Our parents caused this. They forced us to marry each other. And now look what it has cost. 
As soon as I'm okay, we'll sort out the divorce. I cannot fight the love you feel for me, Kim. So I'm letting you go. No, Nkem. Only, only, only. Save it, Donald! Save it! Follow your heart and let me find mine. Olive, please. Please. We can talk about it's this. It's never going to work, Donald. You said it yourself. One cannot force love. We can talk about this when we get home, please. No, Donald. It's never going to work. You, you're, pretty, you're pretty worked up. Donald, it's okay. Margaret, we bear no grudges. In fact, when our daughter intimated us of her decisions, my husband and I discussed at length and we've resolved to stand by our decisions. As she said, when she gets better, then we'll be ready to remedy everything possible. In God's name, do not. This is what you've always wanted. It's okay. On behalf of your late father, I accept responsibility for everything. I'm sorry. I'm truly sorry. Let's go. What are you doing here? I am free. Free from what? Free to love you till death do us part. What's that supposed to mean? It means love has given me a second chance. Love has brought me back to you. So we need no more words between us. <laughs> Come. Come to where your heart has always belonged. Go to him. Go 
to where your heart is. Kembuchi. Remember what I always told you. A bird that is truly yours, no matter how high it flies, it will surely come back to you. So go. Go, my dear. Mm -hmm. Welcome, Donald. I'm sorry, ma'am. Please. Uh, no, 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 no. I understand. Thank you. Welcome back home. Picture of love in my heart, it's only me and you. 